The Concise Guide to Pharmacology is uh, the one and only publication now that BJP puts out in hard copy, uh, which is a snapshot in time of data that is presented on the online database guidetopharmacology.org. Uh, so this is information that's collated from a, a huge number of, of pharmacologists across the world through numerous um, subcommittees of the nomenclature committee of the International Union of Basic and, and Clinical Pharmacology, IUFAR, and uh, through the use of curators based in Edinburgh. We bring all that information together to the website and then we've taken data directly out of the website and pushed it into a format which is a, a more comparative, tabular, side-by-side comparison of families of uh, molecular targets of drugs. So the overall aim is to produce something which gives a, uh, a ready, uh, accessible, um, legible uh, point of access to be able to allow people who are new into an area uh, to define whether a response they're seeing, whether it's a cellular or molecular level, uh, is mediated through a particular molecular target. And by molecular target, we're talking about receptors, enzymes, ion channels, transporters, and all the different variations within those groups that, that are there. So it focuses particularly on um, the structural information associated with those targets, but also brings to bear uh, availability of compounds which can be used uh, either to define a single entity, whether it's a single receptor, transport ion channel tr enzyme, or potentially a family of those, which can also be quite a useful way of, of uh, investigating response. And it's not just for people new to fields. So I use it all of the time because I, so if I found that there might be a new pathway involved in a particular response that I'm interested in, I always go to the mm -hmm. uh, Guide to Pharmacology to work out what drugs are out there, what pharma have been producing that might have greater selectivity. Um, I always use it as a, a, a fantastic resource. We condense um, a relatively short number of, of recent reviews for further reading to allow you to go and, and uh, uh, get a further understanding of that area as well. And that's always useful, directing you, mm -hmm. saving time. Well, that, that's part of it. I think. Part of the problem that we have in research is that there's so much of an abundance of information out yeah. there. The biggest problem is sifting through it and identifying what is valuable and what is less valuable. And so having these uh, subcommittees around the place who do that job for you, yeah. uh, to a certain extent, means that you can focus in on things which we hope uh, are much more likely to be of importance to you. Yeah. We've uh, added an awful lot of, of the clinically used uh, compounds onto the online database and selected from those uh, agents which are in clinical usage for the concise guide for those targets which are exploited uh, in medicine currently. So that's a big feature that's gone on uh, since the last iteration of the concise guide. Uh, the other things that we focused on from the last time is that we already had a comprehensive coverage of G-protein coupled receptors, catalytic receptors, nuclear hormone receptors, and um, ligand-gated ion channels, uh, voltage-gated channels, and, and other ion channels, uh, and relatively comprehensive uh, overview of transporters. And one of the areas we've expanded on more recently is the enzyme side of things, looking at protein kinases, which are uh, becoming uh, almost the, the, the primary target for anti-cancer drugs, for example, and, and uh, for um, exploiting the immune system as well and also for proteases as well, which are a major uh, group, uh, a large family of, of enzymes. And we've been able to expand both of those sets uh, in a very uh, coordinated way. And so those elements are extracted out from the online Guide to Pharmacology, and we've expanded those hugely in the Concise Guide to Pharmacology this time around. So although last time it was 420 pages, which is not a very concise, Concise Guide to Pharmacology, uh, the expansion now to 470 pages uh, is largely based around the expansion in the enzymes, the protein kinases and, and uh, proteases.